Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl V. And today I am coming to you with a video on how I and my husband did this DIY IKEA vanity. So if you are interested in how this vanity came together, then keep watching. Definitely ridiculous, y'all. Definitely. And you're just seeing some of it. This traffic is a mess. A few moments later. So welcome back to the house because I decided not to buy anything. And I hope you guys love my kitchen because it's everything. What? Can you give us a tour of your kitchen? Yes, absolutely. Would you like? An apple? Don't worry about it. Okay? Stop recording in my kitchen. <laughs> okay, you guys, so we finally made it. Um, FYI, I'm not your typical DIY chick. I do it when I can. If I find something cool that I think I can tackle, I will typically try to do it. Plus, like I said earlier, a lot of that stuff be really pricey like really expensive so if you can DIY it because some people just love to tackle a DIY anyway and save money even if they can't afford to buy the expensive ones sometimes you just want to be able to do it yourself which is kind of cool if you have the space to do it and the budget to do an expensive one great but if not DIYs is your best way to go I think so and so I'm just curious. I just want to go ahead and do it. And so I see they have the Alex drawers. So what I'm trying to figure out is if it's this one or if it's, it's obviously not that one because this one has the bigger, which is more like a file one. So I'm thinking it's this one and I'm going to need like two of those. So the good thing about it is they were in stock because a lot of times people from what I've seen in certain videos, they were like, they didn't have no luck with finding them. They were out of stock. And so it's best to check if they're in stock. So I would advise that you do the same thing. I did look online to see if my local store had it and they were in stock. Um, also, I watched a lot of DIYs and some people added their own flares to it. So you could either like take from different people and add your own spin on it, or you could just do exactly how someone else did it. Like I said, I'm messing around here because I've never done it before, but I'm gonna learn today. I agree. It's 34 bucks though. <laughs> um, this one is a good $25. $25. Nah, I'd probably look stupid if I did two of the Alex stands. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are these? These are, uh, what do you call them? Adapters? No. Does this one spin? We need one of these. What is that? It's one of these things. Oh, the, the extension thing. Yeah. Okay. Two of the Alex drawers. So do you recommend, oh, I see that you just moved that. So this is all take this, this Yeah, all of these, this is all create your own. So you pick the top that you want over here, and then you pick the base. So you can do all legs, or you can do the Alex drawers. Huh. You decide the way you're suggesting. So something like this would be too small. Right. So that's a 39 inch. This is the 47 inch. This is the if you wanted to. But is that thick enough? Like is the Alex drawer? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? If I'm trying to size it up together. But I don't think the tabletop is that far off in price than this table. True. One on each side. Yeah. However, we don't have these legs right now, so everything is sold separately. So you could certainly buy this top, but these legs we don't have right now. Y'all, we stopped off for a little quick IKEA meal. <laughs> dry fries. 
And they are pretty dry. Y'all, I'm out of breath. We got sent down way into the dungeon somewhere. Look at this. We're lost. So we were trying to find uh, the aisle. So, and on the ticket it says aisle 851 in Ikea. You know you got soul service. The first time I've ever done this. Isn't this bin one? I think it's that one. No, that's bin. They're both bin 51. So confusing. Well, for us, anyway. This one is $3. Look it. But we're like way in the back. We tried to get help. It's non-existent over here. Oh, I see the difference. We're lost, 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 lost. lost. Okay, I'm sorry. like right now at the moment without it being taped around or anything right now we're going to just measure make sure the lights are um, separated like they should be like even out I'm going to take these cords and put them towards the back using electrical tape I've seen some people use regular tape and you can use regular tape but I have also seen a couple of videos where they were like advising to use the electrical tape i'm not sure why um but i just went ahead and went with the electrical tape to be on the safe side um i don't know if the electrical tape just holds better i've even heard reviews that depending on these they probably will pop off some one lady said she almost had a heart attack in the middle of the night because her things popped off one of the bulbs popped off <laughs> But I, like I said, I've heard good reviews about doing it this way, so that's what we're doing. So I will show you guys when it's actually up. Okay, right now, you guys, I bought some marble adhesive or marble contact paper and applying it to the top of the desk. So as you can see, we do have the top on right now. And right now, we're just trying to smooth it out. If you can get one of those, I guess it is. I don't know if it's called a smoother or not. But if you can get one of those from like Lowe's or Home Depot, that would be great to help you as you're unraveling the marble paper should you choose to use it because it'll really help because even with the cars we're like really really trying not to get <laughs> the air bubbles too much in there but as you can see the drawers have been put together the table is the tabletop is on there and now we're just putting the marble paper on This mirror is from Lowe's and will also be included in the description box. That little flower for aesthetic, got that right out of Ikea. I cut the banana leaf in half or had my husband do it so that it would fit inside the vase that I got from the Dollar Tree. And even the little stones in the glass are like pink and clear from the Dollar Tree. I will include everything in the description box below for you guys to be able to see where some of these things came from. The ottoman came at the last minute and I got that from the home store, which I will include in the description box. These diamond knobs did come from Amazon, will be in the description box. As you can see, I put a piece of plexiglass, but I did not cover the entire table because I really only wanted it for stains and things like that. The marble paper that I got from Lowe's will be in the description box. And some of these things that are on the table, I already had the acrylic uh, makeup holders, things like that. But I did get a couple of pieces from the home goods like this here for brushes i already had this one for like three years and i got that on amazon i will try to find that one to put it back on the description box i was able to get these mason jars for q-tips cotton swabs things like that in home goods and i found those jars for maybe three four dollars so everything for the most part you will see in the description box so you can get an idea of the total cost. The lights do stick on 
as I was explaining. They're very sturdy, they are not budging. Um, I do recommend measuring first before sticking them because they they will stay they are you know they're pretty good they're gonna come off yes they can um they did come with extra stickies so that if you do have to take them off and put them back on you can so that was a good thing but other than that you guys that's it the mirror i had this for some years but i did get another little led one from the home goods store and they were pretty affordable I think I got the little mirror for like six bucks. Little jury box. I think I got that for about ten dollars. So I tried to keep it as low cost as possible. The Alex drawers were from IKEA for $79 each. And the Lenman table will be in the description box. This one was a 59 by 29 and a half. And there is a small gap behind here but it doesn't budge. There's no weight coming down on it. It doesn't move. If you want to, there are legs that you can get and they run for about $4. And you can just secure them in the back of there if you want to. Um, you can cons you know, secure them on the back if you want to, but this has not budged. I have not had no problem with it. Most people, when they show you this, don't show you that there's a little bit of a gap back here, but I, you know decided to show you guys because I found that interesting but I did see some people use the leg didn't mind it because it didn't move the Alex drawers do come with these like rubber grips and I'm, you probably can't see them but they do come with these rubber grip grips so that it's not moving it's not going nowhere it's pretty sturdy I got the Paris trash can from the Walmart you can use any trash can you want to for real for real and that's about it you guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did, give it a fat thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys very shortly in the next video. Thank you. Love you. Bye.